what's up? It's Sam I am. How is everybody? I'm myself in Fantabulistic. The last time I checked, I am down to 11 empty spots for a subscriber until I get to a thousand. I'm almost there. If you would kindly take a moment and subscribe, your subscription could be the one that sets me to the thousand mark. My milestone, my first milestone when it comes to my channel. And it's been a little shaky since I started, but I am almost there. Thanks to all of you and my words cannot express how much I appreciate it. You're loved. You are loved, loved from this little lady here in North Carolina. So, thank you. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Uh, there's a contest. Like, subscribe, comment. You get a number for me, you go into the giveaway. We will go over that more at the end of the video. So, you got to hang tight to find out the deal. Okay, um, yesterday, oh, wait, 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 before we go there. I got something cool I'm going to show y'all. I did got this when I was away and I had really hoped to use it before, but I didn't get to. I got a cricket joy. So I'm going to see if I can figure this out. I'm technically cha challenged. So my son is, you know, he's got it. So hopefully he can train his mama how to use it. I'm super excited to do that so I can get some words on my work. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I also got this. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but it was a good deal with the Cricut. I got this. It's a Cricut, what's it say? Oh, I can read it from the side. Cricut Bright Pad, your brilliant crafting companion. The ultra slim, lightweight profile, less eye strain, more detail. Three brightness settings. Can you still see it? Um, included in the box. Cricut Bright Pad, micro USB cable, um, one button control. Uh, it's pretty big size. So I got this from a seller on eBay. Fabulous guy. I mean, he even came and brought it to me at the hospital because we just couldn't connect and he wanted it out of his way and I wanted it in my way. Got it. Gonna be using it soon. I hope. So that was my big thing. Um, I'm trying to get things a little better so my videos look a little more savvy. I mean, snazzy, not savvy. Ah! All right, um, I think that covers everything that I want to go over right now. I would like to go down and we will show you what we are gonna be doing today. Okay, don't go anywhere. Hey right, guys, I'm back. Uh, took a little while. I don't know what I'm doing. I do know that I want to try the seashell effect again. Oh, I'm so stuck on the colors though. This is what I'm thinking. I went by this because I want to put this in the bottom. I like that. I think that's priority. So my thoughts were I'm going to do like I'm going to mix this cream with this uh, by Bianca. It's perfect. That'll be the first because you need a layer of mica. Then you are going to do two of resin dye, not alcohol ink. So my thoughts were I'm going to mix yellow and brown with a little bit of white or a little bit of brown and yellow. We're going to see what they mix up into. Now, then I want to, oh, and then it'll be clear with this here. Hopefully this works out, y'all. Hopefully. Then I want to put this down at the bottom or up here. And I want to trim that, depending on what my colors come out, in one of these. And then do the background in one of these chameleon colors. Again, y'all may, may or may not know. Sometimes things change in the middle of the project. Because, you know, that just happens. I got to adjust y'all just a little bit. Sorry. Is it good? That makes it sorry. I really, if this really turns out good, this seashell, then I just might make it a bolt. We're gonna see what happens. So just hang tight and see what happens. You know what? I haven't said this in a long time. And I miss it. Let's get this pouring party started. Yeah! Alright guys, here we roll. 
and I have mixed up 31 ounces, don't ask, of resin, and it is the Epoxy Resin Store, Clearcast 7000. It's VOC free, it's one to one ratio by volume, and uh, it's crystal clear. Mine isn't right now, because I left it out in the garage. Mom told me not to, but I did anyway. Okay, so here we go. I have separated resin over here, but it's just, you'll see. You'll see, it's kind of like, we got it, we got it. So what I like to do, is I put in, that's pretty, uh, my mica with a little bit of resin and then I mix that up, make like a paste and then I add the rest of my resin. This just makes sure that we've got all the mica mixed in. So when you see the end project, you're not like, man, look at that piece of mica that didn't fit. Nobody else would notice it maybe, but you do of course, cause you're the artist and you strive for excellence. I'm assuming anyway. You do the best you can. Otherwise, why bother, right? All right, let's leave that open. So here we go. We're gonna put in a little bit of this. Whoops. And mix this up. See what we get. I'm kind of like into the thing of mixing colors now. Never really did it before. I mean, I got a million colors, so. I would have three million colors if I started mixing it up. That's pretty, huh? I like that. All right, let's add it. I'm wondering why I'm not it out of another cup. I just had to separate it because it was very full. And I think I want more than this. We'll try that. Mix that all in there. Now comes the fun. I don't know how to mix these colors, but I'm gonna try it. We gonna see what happens, y'all. It's a mystery. It's like the Scooby-Doo mystery machine. Hmm. Tell me, y'all might not know who Scooby-Doo is. But I think the demographics, y'all are my age because we're cool like that. And now we're gonna go with, um, let's go with white and, you know what, that's gonna make that opaque. Oh man, I want it opaque. Oh, let's see. What does orange and yellow make? Orange? <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna go with this caramel and yellow. Two, three, four, five. Whoops, that was a big squirt. There we go. That works. These bottles from Let's Resin, um, that's caramel. They're very hard to scrape. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh, that was not open. I don't use the dyes much. I was just realizing I don't have many dyes. <gasps> scissors. Oops. Looks like I need to get some more scissors too. So yeah, I'm going to look into getting some more dies. Oops, man, I just cut that big. All right, let's see what we get. Huh. I mean, I think mixed in with stuff, it'll be pretty. I don't think I'd make a whole project that color, but we're going to roll with it. Don't know unless you try. Oh, Oh, I meant to tell you, um, I saw, 
and which I put it in my description yesterday, the one I did, the seashell that I did. Tim Watkins is the one who I saw do the seashell effect. And then one of my viewers said that Petra Gerbot, Petra with a G, did it when she saw it. Now, who did it first? I don't know. Who was inspired by whom? No clue. But that's where I was inspired by. Or who I was inspired by. Um, that's looking awful lot of light, isn't it? Hmm. What can I add to that, y'all? Uh, black? Make it darker? I need to make this darker. Let's see what happens. Actually, I need to go ahead and add the, all the resin in there, don't I? different. Darkened it up with the black. A little bit. Hmm. I'm going to do another. Oops. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm going to do another square of that. Ouch. Man, I don't know why these bottles are so hard to squeeze. Well, I guess they don't want you to get more than you need. There we go. That makes it better, doesn't it? I don't know how good our parfait is going to look in there, but... That's what we got. Uh, I got a mess. That's what I got. Woo! Then we'll figure out what mica or chameleon powder looks good with it. Those over there. Where does this come from? Over here. All right. Let's move these over here out of the way. Done. I gotta wipe this, y'all. Damn it. Oh, Forgive me, my friends. Um, yeah. The chameleon powder, we will just figure out when we get to it. Which, that's going to go on the surfboard. Maybe, depending... Oh, well, you know what? I got to pour the surfboard now. Okay, well, I don't have to use it now with this project. Because in case I turn it into a bolt, maybe we can hook it to the bolt. And then we'll figure out which one of these I'm going to use as well. So let's just move these bad boys out of the way, too. Over here. There we go. Oh, rose gold is a possibility. Anything's possible. So let's go with this. I have clear over here, clear over here, and I'm thinking I'm not going to put these little things in. I did it um, before I poured. I think I'm going to wait till I do after this pour. I'm wondering if I should put a splash of brown in that. Uh, yeah, we'll go with it. All right. So, here we go. And you just pour it slowly, guys. And if you don't want to sit here while this happens, then, um, you know, just uh, go get a snack. Coffee. I don't know what time it is in your neck of the woods. Mine is 8 o'clock. I seem to get up like about 3.30 every morning and the significance of that is, is my dad passed away at 3.33, which by, believe it or not, 33 is my uh, favorite lucky number, whatever you want to call it. And he passed at 3.33. So that was pretty wild. Um, I think that was his way of saying he loved me. Then, check this out. We have to, we were selling his truck and we had to get inspected before we could do so. When we pulled up and the lady asked how many miles were on it? 191, 33, three. Huh. 
And I told the lady that. She said, that gives me chills. I said, me too. Because, you know, I never got to drive dad's truck. That was one of those things. I'll drive it over my dead body. And my dad was just straight up like that, y'all. He'd tell you he's a redneck. Loved it. Proud of it. Me too. He was an avid outdoorsman. He was a lineman for the power company. Worked hard all his life. Veteran of the Vietnam War. Yeah. He was a good dude. Mm -hmm. Here we go, guys. Let's see what our homemade color looks like. Not too bad. We'll have to wait to the end result to really see. I wonder if I should be going back here further. I'm thinking I should be. So that'll spread out. Yeah. I guess I didn't pay attention enough to that. But I'm hoping I got enough resin made up. Because having to fix the color is not going to be fun. You know that. And I mean, how would you report it? I guess I have to put clear all the way at the bottom. Ooh, look at that. I didn't stir it up enough. Shame, shame, shame. Oh, well, it's a seashell. Their colors vary. Yeah, so I did the blue one yesterday. And, you know, like I said, you can't go wrong with blue. Blues. It just didn't get the, the seashell effect like I was hoping for. So, this time I wanted to, or that's why I wanted to try it again. Normally I don't do things back to back, but there's first time for everything. Right now. Mm, why is it going that way? Uh-oh. What in the world? That's straight there. All right, let's see how this goes. Just bring us on the way here in um, North Carolina, in the U.S. of A, which I think, like, people on the other side of the world, of course, they are just starting winter. I'm sorry, the days of thick resin are coming upon you. I'm not a winter person. I mean, I don't like it when it's 9,000 degrees outside either, but I don't like to be cold. Except at night. I do like to be in a nice, cool bed. It's cool outside the bed. And um, you're getting snuggled all up in your sheets. Man, that's good stuff. And no socks. No, no socks. All right. Hope this works out, guys. All I got left is clear. I mean, I can make more color, of course, but that'll kind of mess up the routine here. Or the, the what we're not getting. Uh, I don't think it's going to work again. I don't care for the colors. Well, maybe third time is the ticket. Well, you know what? 
The game's not over yet, right? I, the fat lady, have not sung. Hmm? Yeah, see all that pink one over here, parfait, whatever. And it's level, I don't get it. Maybe I just need to, hold on, let me finish pouring this. Mm. Now, I'll tell you, if this doesn't turn out good, then we'll have to figure out something else to do. Because I'm not going to waste doing the life relax or whatever, the surfboard. Let me just jack this up a little bit. I have it jacked up some, but... Uh, anyway, it's not enough. Let's see. Mm, I can't grip it. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. Uh-uh. Get away. Over there. Maybe that'll do better. Oh, that looks good. All right, so let's put in our shells. Let's put a little fire on the hole. Quickly and efficiently. At this time, you may choose to use alcohol to each his own. It's your party. You can do what you want. It looks a lot higher than it does over there. That's pretty. y'all think put a little more clear in there make sure it's covered up i already have a cup right here waiting Not feeling so confident about this piece, you guys. Nope. But, you know, like I say, we will try it again. It's all good. It sure Lord is. Mm, sure as your Lord is. I think I got all of them. Now, the more I sit here and think about it, I think that I should wait to do the surfboard before I do all that work. Because I don't know that I would use those colors again in something else if this doesn't work out. No? So, it will only take a second if I decide to do it. Because I can throw that bad boy on the resin cure and plate. i got little floaters over here. Get back. Stay right there. All right, gang. I don't know what this is going to be like. It's a mystery. But like I said, if it turns out okay, and I think it can go into a good bowl, 
then that's how we're gonna roll. Let me get a little more bubbles on this. Take care of them. Okay. Just something floating right here. Where was this? I got a piece of the shell, I guess. I don't know why I fight with this. I'll be back. You guys don't go anywhere. Hey guys, I'm back. I got our tray. It's still not the seashell effect. I mean, it's not bad. I, I guess. I don't care about the colors. But you know, we tried. We tried it again. I don't, I wonder if it's the shape because the guy had an oval. Excuse me, I just kind of had a, excuse me, I hope y'all didn't hear that, I had a little, little, um, burp, hmm. at least it didn't could just come belching out, my mom said I was like that when I was a baby, because I had reflux really bad, my dad actually had to sleep in the car because he was a, worked for Virginia Power, Power Company, and he was a lineman, so he worked a lot of overtime because mom was able to stay home with me, but because I was crying all the time because I was miserable, um, he would go sleep in the car so he could get some rest. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I just don't think I like this at all. And I was thinking I was going to do this. I have this um, shell. I was trying to figure out a way to do this and then kind of like make a little bowl. So it would add something to it or even leave it flat. Y'all, I, I pulled out about 30 colors and I just could not see anything going with this because I wanted to have something different since I'm not digging these colors and I thought it would cover up a majority of this and I might do that again in the future it's just not happening now because I'm just not impressed with it yet but I will get it yes I will so anyway this is my project I hope you liked it it's not what we were aiming for, but hey, next time we shall get it. Um, I, if you keep an eye out, I should be doing a live. I've, um, I'd hope to get this video out sooner. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it's going to come out. I mean, it's going to come out. I just don't know if it's going to come out before or after I hit my thousand. I, we will see. We will see. Hopefully, you'll be seeing my community post where I'm telling you I'm doing a live because we are going to have a giveaway. It's a giveaway party. It's a giveaway party because we've been pouring. No, guys, I can't show, tell you guys enough how much I appreciate your support. I really, really can't. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. Literally, every one of you hit the button. You took the time out of your schedule to hit the button for me and I hope you're continuing to come back to see the work the projects that we're doing all right um I have the contest going on for the giveaway you um need to get a number if you subscribed before and you didn't get a number you have to now because if you didn't send me a comment asking for a number then you didn't get one and you are not in the giveaway if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it. Let me know you did. Get a comment. Send me a comment after you like and subscribe, and I will give you a number. I'm doing a giveaway once I hit the 1,000th subscriber. We will do a giveaway where the winner is through a number generator. I'm going to have a first, second, and third prize. Great gifts, I think. It's to show my love for you guys for taking the time out to help me out. Okay. I started this new thing where trying to start up a conversation with all of my good friends. This box, I can't ever get to open. It's called Tell Me More, a game of questions to deepen connection. You guys can, if you don't care about this part, you can skip ahead to the pictures or I will see you next time. But for now, those who care to stick around, let us have a question. i put that over there. Okay. Let's make some up. Make some up. Tell me more. Tell me more. Let's roll with this one. All right. 
If you could reconnect with one person from your past, who would it be and why? Hmm. That's a good one. There's quite a few people I would like to... Yeah, because I had a lot of friends. I really did until I got sick. And I mean, they're still my friends. You just, you know how it is. You get out of touch. You don't call. They don't call. They stop calling you. So there's a lot of people I would like to reach out to. I'll have to pick the one. How about you? Let me know. Put it in your comment. And I've been leaving my answer in the description. So if you want to take a look, take a look in the description. As well as all the other information I have there. Lots of codes, lots of coupon codes, lots of links. Check them out. Get yourself a discount. Give me a little credit. It's really, really great. It's a win-win. All right. If you could reconnect with one person from your past, who would it be and why? Let me know, guys. And this is it. This is our project. Stay tuned for another one. Hopefully, it'll be after our live. I have a feeling it will be. So, anyway, my friends. Until next time, love you, mean it. Be good or good at it. See ya. Bye. Guess what? I got blabbing. I forgot to take it out of the dag one. Thing. Mold. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so silly. It's just because I don't lo really care for it. Hey, right, maybe there is a party on the back. Does it didn't happen like that last time? But hey, hey every time's different. And the static electricity is big time. All right, here we go. Silly, silly. Ready? No. Yeah, that's just like a beach, which isn't bad. That would have been pretty to put a bowl with that. Which I still can. Ooh, look at that mixed up mica that I didn't get. And I show, 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 showed you guys my trick about mixing up my mica. So, I have to do a little better with that. And I'm going to try this again. You will see this project again. I'll give us a break this time. Because I don't want to bore you. But, I'm going to get it. Yes, I am. Alright, that's it. Love ya.